Hey, look at the song I'm listening to. Swag. Swag. Hello guys, my name is Antoine Rodriguez and I'm going to explain to you how skateboarding is like affects the, um, the economy you know um, skateboarding is a five billion dollar industry the skate industry you know skate industry distributes about two thousand products a month to 2,971 skate shops in the United States of America, God bless. You know, um, the skate shops help the industry get their products out there, you know, out there. So, out there. I'm like, I just love skateboarding so much. I love skateboarding. Oh my god, I love skateboarding so much. Anyways. <laughs> the money that skate companies take from the consumers, people like me and all that skate, or people that buy the clothing and shoes, you know, is is taxed. And the tax from those products are used to like fund the unemployed, <laughs> retired, like the old people, military, fish. You know, the fishes in the sea. What kind of fish? Yellow fish, red fish, blue fish, green fish. Two fish, three fish. Two fish, gold fish, silver fish. Black fish. Sharks, white fish. Dolphins. Dolphins. Crabs. Crabs, too. People. Yeah. It, it helps all that stuff, all that money, you know. Uh, the military. Did I already say the military? I think I did. But anyways, like... The skate industry like provides a wide variety of jobs. <laughs> wide variety of jobs. <laughs> I just love skate. <laughs> so anyways, the skate industry provides a wide variety of jobs from marketing, journalism, you know, photography, like I'll show you some examples. Look up there. You know, that's my brother Justin Brock hitting the a backside kickflip on a hip right there. This case for Nike SB. One day I'll be sponsored by them, hopefully. You know, there's pictures. There's another one. Trans World. That's one of the magazines that skateboarding has. Thrasher. Uh, I'll show you a picture of me. I'm actually in a magazine, too. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, it was when I, when I used to have a beard, though. I shaved it off, but yeah, that's me right there. 
hey, right there. That's me, this guy, you know, with my vans on, you know, my whole little squad right here. We're so raw at skateboarding. Um, you know, explain some more things to you. Go ahead, show them the pictures, Vic. You know, a whole bunch of pictures, you know, that, that, that costs money right there. That was like millions of dollars just to make that poster, you know. And I'm going to explain some more uh, jobs that skateboarding brings or well, creates, uh, like, the from people that make the boards, which means, like, cut the skateboards up, you know, cut them, shape them, um, what else, uh, from people that use the machines, you know, beep, 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 the machines, that compress the layers together, because skateboard just isn't like a big hunk of wood, you know, it's, it goes by layers, so there's from six layers of pieces of wood to seven layers, and they compress that wood together, and, yeah, all that stuff, um, Another, like, a big thing is, like, <coughs> construction workers, they, like, like, the architects and stuff, they design skate parks, create them, build them in the cities, you know, and when they build those skate parks and it brings money to the cities. <sighs> and that just works. <laughs> oh, crap. Yo, he can't he do. Anyways. So anyways, like, talk about supply and demand with skateboarding. So pretty much the skate companies supply the skate shops who demand the skateboards because that's how they run their companies. And What's your name? Dom Ellis. How long have you been skating for? Uh, it's been like two... Two years, almost three years, a few months. And how many hours? Hours? Yeah. A day or the whole time I was skating? I was just playing. Oh, I was <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you think skateboarding affects the economy? Uh, in some places. Like LA, I think skateboarding has a really good effect on the economy. What about the Bay Area? Uh, it has, it has, a, it definitely has an effect, but not a big, as big an effect as it does in LA. I see. And... Do you think skateboarding is gonna be like bigger and like as more years to come, or you think it's gonna eventually like die down and people are gonna stop skating? Uh, I don't know. I think that it's gonna keep progressing because every day I see more and more kids with skateboards and people mm -hmm. I've never seen at the skate park and things like that. So and definitely with the new like street league and new contests and stuff, it's, it's been more. And then what about, uh, let's see, like how much, like, how much money do you think, uh, skateboarding will, like, like, brings in, like, every year, skateboarding industry brings in? Well, I know for a fact it's, like, five billion dollars. Five billion dollars? Like, what do you think's, like, the, the biggest brand in skateboarding? Uh, as a Dex or, like, shoes or something like that? Dex. Next, uh, probably a uh, Plan B and Element because uh, like every new skateboard has like an element or a Plan B because of that. And then, what about like shoes? You think that they make a lot of money in shoes? I think they, I think shoes make the most money out of the whole skate industry. Because uh huh. <laughs> oh um yeah. I think it makes the most money out of the whole shoe industry because not only do skaters buy the skate shoes, but normal people wear skate shoes like the Nikes yep. and. Yeah, a lot of people And that, you think, like, so, like, we, so the supply and demand on skate shoes and skateboarding accessories and all that stuff, it's high? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, like I said about the supply and demand, look. Look, they supplied me with a crappy board. Ooh. Broken, right? I don't know what happened. It didn't get ran over. It didn't get eaten by a dinosaur, anything. It just broke. Dinosaurs. I, I tried dude, to, my mom's car got attacked by a dinosaur. <laughs> I tried to tray flip. Look, get this. I tried to tray flip 
a 15 stair, and this is what happened. Look at that. Broken. F 15 stairs? Yeah, that's, that's like fire. That's like 13 that's stairs right. plus two more. Yeah. And that's or 14, 14 plus one more. Four, oh my gosh. Or, or five times three. 15 is <laughs> 14 more than. What about 15 plus zero? Did you just say 15 plus zero? Something like Did that. Did you? Oh my god. So anyways, look, listen. All right, so this is the whole thing about supply and demand. Look. Kids like me. The skate, well, the skate shops supply, well, the skate companies supply the skate shops with skateboards, right? And then skaters like me come along, ooh, I'm gonna buy this board because it's purple, right? And then look what happens, I buy the purple board and it breaks. So, <gasps> well, you could have just got so anyways, the green board and it would have been better. Exactly, but look, listen, so, that's Justin Bieber brand. So anyways, look, so, I... I have a broken skateboard, so how am I gonna skate? I'm gonna have to go buy Your another board. Broken. And what's Your gonna happen after that? What's though. gonna happen after that? I'm gonna break it again and again and again. And that's just how it happens. And these skate companies get moolah, a lot of money. How much does that board cost? How Which much board? you pay? How much you pay for that board? To be honest, I really that board did, right there. I, I really did steal this board. <laughs> I really did steal this board. I ain't gonna lie, but I say this board probably cost like about thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah. You can feed some orphans with that money. I know, but it wasn't my fault. He, he left it on the table. You want me to just let a brand new board just stay on the table? I took it. Maybe he was going to get it later. Oh, I was. <laughs> Maybe he was going to get it later. <laughs> but look, like I said about karma, look, I stole this board and it didn't even last a week. It broke because I tried to trade flip the 15 stair, you know. <laughs> he did. So, he did. Uh, Actually, this nigga tried to ride off a curb. But he weighs like 450 pounds. 400 pounds. Look, listen, listen. <laughs> so like about the, su the supply and demand thing, right? See, like, look at this. Look, film this, film this, look at this. You see what happens? See what happens? Get up. Hey, honey. Hey, babe. How's day? Pretty good. Hard day at work. Pro skater. Skate. Let's make a trip to the door. <laughs> A trip to the donut shop? Actually, I didn't. They closed early. Um. So, what are you wearing tonight? Nothing. Oh, just the way I like it. Can I touch you? Oh. No. Can I hug you? No. Can I kiss you? I kiss my mom. Oh. <laughs> I'm Can just I really kiss you? All right. Oh, you call that a kiss? I'm leaving. I fuck that. Shark, how could you hit me? How could you hit me? Why would you hit me?